Hey y'all, it is your Buttons Babes, and today we are pushing the button of medicated set. What is it? So sex on any type of substance, whether it's alcohol, different types of drugs, just anything that is altering, painkillers. That was a, sex on painkillers was a really big thing for um, like, my high school days like not that i did i mean like oh man here we go painkiller for yes. me in my high school too i just was afraid of peni so i was like no no sex is happening but painkillers pain was big. i i never quite understood like everyone in high school was doing it like snorting them taking them and and having sex and in my brain I'm like you i don't quite get regular sex yet. Um, I was having it, but just I'm like, and, and now we're adding things to it. I had a lot of drunk sex in high school. Like the more that I think about it, I only like it. A lot of my teenage years, high school, oh, that is high school, college days, I had nothing but drunk sex. And it's like, oh, that is interesting, a little scary problematic okay but also i think pretty common yes uh, i as mentioned was afraid of the weens um for a, a portion of my life and finally was comfortable with them in, in college but like after the first time i had sex it was sober that was that was a sober sex experience very many most of them after the first like four years of having sex were defo some form of like drunk. Def there was a handful of blackouts that didn't exactly choose in the way that they happened and mm. wouldn't have happened, you know, had it not been so drunk. Um, but I feel like many other friends, male and female that I've spoken to, like it was like, oh yeah, you just kind of had drunk sex for yes. a long time. And like, relationships were started on drunk sex and if you took that yeah. away like like what are like like what are they what is mean? that like sober sex was something that was new to me and probably didn't regularly start happening until i was in my late 20s and it's it, it's interesting and even now um it's something that i like to keep in mind because I, I will dabble in some of the medicated sex, but the way that I do Love things, a yes, <laughs> the way that I do things now are so differently. And I feel like a nerd or like, like, like I feel like an old person <laughs> because if I'm going to try anything, I'm that woman who pulls out the laptop and I'm Googling, what does Molly do to you? Or what does like, what is going to happen if, like what, what are the effects that it's going to have on my body? And like, how can I prepare? I prepare for medicated sex. And nerd like, in, I feel like nerding in, in sex is important because like you can't just like, uh, pun intended, just like go in. <laughs> like, no, all of the pun intended. You, you cannot do that. Like you should know like, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm putting something in my body, if I'm putting a part of my body in, to an orifice on another body or on a toy, like what's it gonna do to me? Right. Um, if you get the suction clips thing, like, it, can you suck your clit off? I mean, that's a question that I once Googled. Stop. Like, I'm so, t I'm so. I, I, because I was like, this sucks real hard. Like, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you don't. <laughs> no, I just. So that's gonna be another button, cause yo, I need to like, yes. Um, anyway, so far, if you guys like what is going on right now, you should also like this video and subscribe. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled program. I like to research and prepare and do the things. Um, recently tried um, Molly. Um, and Love her. Yes, yo, she, Molly and sex is great. You know, did the research, did the things, made sure I had the Pedialyte snacks, so that I'm hydrated, you know, Tylenol for the morning. Like it was an adult about what I was doing on that vacation. And it was, it was fantastic. Uh, I might have to say, but it can, it can go sideways. It can, it, go it can super sideways. And that's where it's smart to, to look up. Do you, do I hydrate? I mean, that seems like a pretty obvious, like always hydrate. But, but also like if you're mixing with things, if you're on antidepressants, mm. like sometimes those things 
can, especially when it comes to psychological, and I'm not a doctor, so. Yeah, we're not. Words, um, but like, <laughs> those things do not mix well. Right. And like, bad, bad shit happens when you're not mixing properly. If you smoke too much weed and drink too much wine, like. You can get faded you can in get, not a good way. Yeah. And, uh, but if you, I have learned as I'm becoming more of an adult and questionable, um, but if you plan for it, it bad less bad things happen yeah. like if you are prepared and you want to try something new or if it's something that you do all of the time no judgment just take care of yourself and your partner while you're doing it there is no shame like i i love tipsy sex love drunk sex i think it's great it's i mean coming home it's after fun. like a couple margaritas and just like yeah, yes. it's it's great, but it's also nice to have like a moment when you've like been really romantic and whatever are super into each other, and you just are like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this, and it's you don't need something to enhance it, but enhancements enhancements are fun. Like are, vacation they? sex is always just like it's a thousand so times different. better when you have an enhancement. Yes, it um, hits different, and and. Anyway, like literally, uh, yes, figuratively, literally, it's yes. different. Um, and so I am. We, we are scheduling more vacations in our life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> making, yes, making the effort. It's great. Um, but uh, I feel like something that I have not, thankfully, experienced was medicated sex. Um, not a. a I'm going to rephrase. Mm -hmm. So I have not been in a situation with someone where medicated sex was introduced, but it was not a consensual, like, oh. aside from roofies, because I'm not counting roofies. Right. But, like, in a situation where I've pressured someone to do something or they have pressured me to do something that, like, wasn't ready. And I think that can be a downfall of, like, oh, maybe I'm super into having Molly vacations. Right. And, my partner, maybe they're afraid of that, or like they haven't done the research and are not doing the research for some reason, like whatever um, scenario. But I think that's something that people have to be more aware of, especially if you're having casual sex um, and you're introducing like snorting things or taking things. Um, like I once had a man friend who like, I didn't get it at first. And he was always like, all right, we gotta chug this wine like before we do anything. And I was like, do you have to Fucking drunk to me. Yeah, I would because feel a certain you type can, of way. You can leave. I can find anyone else to to take care of this need that I have. Um, <laughs> You're not special, sir. <laughs> but like it was he, and he had to make it very clear. Like no, it just makes it more fun. And then I was like, okay, so you're not like you know, doing this, you don't have to do this, and you're not kind of m trying to make me do this. And that Got was just it. a quick conversation that we did not have initially and should have had, mm. but something that I spoke up about, but I'm, I am sure there are situations where that is happening to people yes. without their knowing. I mean, I want to push that button harder because the moment like it came out of your mouth, I was like, Oh, I have, I've been there like, damn. Uh, and it's not fun. It's not pleasant. And it, like the things that you start to question about, you know, the partner that you're with or yourself and like the, the pressure that you feel to do something and like, like, don't be such a whatever about it. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. So that is, that's a whole other medicated sex button that we will revisit. Um, so if you have stories, share. Yes, please. Always love. Throw a comment below. Share your medicated sex stories with us. Um, wow. Like, now I'm a little dumbfounded. <laughs> should've, it should have came to me earlier. No, 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 no. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's great. It is great. I love discovering new buttons that we can push and share with you all. Um, but I think that is, that is all that we have for the button of the week. So if you want to see previous videos, they are here. And here, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and comment if you have anything you want to say to us.